Hello. God bless you, my wonderful people. God bless you all. God bless you all. God bless you all. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. From wherever you are watching me from. And depending on the time you will come across this video. God bless you. I rejoice and I bless the name of the Lord for your sake. And I hope that the Lord is proving himself in your life. Glory be to Jesus. God bless you all. God bless you all. Like I do say, I'm always glad each time I come up here to deliver words of encouragement to somebody. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Today, I want to talk on a topic that says maintaining godly principles. Hallelujah. Maintaining godly principles. In any part of the world you find yourself, please always strive to maintain godly principles. Always endeavor to maintain godly principles. Don't join the mixed multitude. In this part of the world we live, there is a common slogan that says, it's normal, it's egal, everybody's doing it. Believe me, it's something common here in Deutschland. They will see evil, they will call it normal. It's normal, everybody is doing it. Somebody will be lying, telling all sorts of lies. And they will encourage you to join them. Please, I want to encourage you all, my viewers. Don't follow the, you know, mixed multitude. Don't just jump into lagoon because you see someone jumping in. Always try to maintain godly principles. At least make that, you know, set that standard as a child of God. That others will see it and emulate it from you. Always maintain a godly standard, a godly principles. I want to ask a question. Is there no morals in our world today? Why is it that people go for evil, something bad? You know, the, the way they will, they will be chanting at it. 0%, little percent of people only embrace what is good, what is right in the eyes of God. Everybody is just living his or her life the way it praises them and no longer the way it praises their creator. No wonder a songwriter says, live a life that, that, that praises Jesus. Live a life of holiness, a life that praises your creator and not a life that praises you. Remember, you are not the creator of your soul. Neither are you the owner of your life. In all you do, always maintain a godly principles, godly standard. And you will live to enjoy the benefits, the fruits thereof. I want to tell you a story of a young woman that entered into this country. And everybody told her, look, my sister, if you want to get what you want in this country, make sure you drop that your godly principles and tell lies. Any office you enter, anywhere you find yourself, just tell lies and things will be easy for you. It happens that this woman is looking for a house. And they told her, if you want to get house, they, they give you bonum you know, help you, you have to deny your husband. You have to tell lies. You have to tell them that you are not married because they help single moms a lot. And this woman said, no, I entered this country with my children and my husband. I cannot deny that I am not married. She went to apply for house. Believe me, they denied her and told her, you just entered this country. You won't have to stay like five years and above before you will get a house she come back home and all her church members you know everybody was like we told you how things are being done here but you refuse to do it now see what you put yourself into 
this woman squatted in a hotel with her family and her kids for a long time. But believe you me. When they were in us cloning her, telling her, why don't you do as we told you? The woman said, the heart of the king is in the hand of the Lord. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Men and all that dwells in it. And my God gave me this word that we are so ever the soul of my feet touches that I will possess it. That was the answer the woman gave to them. And they were like, okay, I oh am yeah, now. Let's see how we are going to, you know, sort everything out. Believe you me. The woman was told by the authorities that she will get house you know she will get apartment only when she is up to five years in this country but the woman went in and keep on praying believing god for a, a comfortable apartment and the lord came through for her she was only two years plus that same people, that same office that told her that they will give her house when she is up to five years in this country. The same office wrote her that they have an apartment for her, which is five bedroom flats, five rooms with sitting room, making it six altogether. She is not up to five years, but she stand firm. She refused to follow the multitude, to do what they are doing, to lie as they are lying. Even some of them that lied, they are still, you know, waiting. Even some got apartment, but what they got is just a room and parlor, two rooms and parlor. Everybody know how small German apartments are. But this woman, not only that she got her apartment earlier, than expected she got it earlier than expected and she also got what she asked the lord for a bigger apartment than what all those people that are blaming her got and i came to tell somebody you may got whatever you are believing god for in a crooked way but hear me out if it is never from the lord it is never a testimony the bible says that the blessings of the lord make it rich and added no sorrow wait on the lord maintain a godly principles and he will see you through he will bless you he will visit you don't just follow the mixed multitude Show your love for your God by standing firm, doing only the things that pleases him. And not just because everybody is doing it. Praise God. Praise Master Jesus. Stand firm. Prove to the world that you are a child of God. Disease from worldliness. Don't just follow others and do what they are doing. Always set an example. Live up to that principle of God. Let the world emulate from you. In any part of the world you find yourself, in any situation, in any circumstances you find yourself, please, I beg of you, always try to maintain a godly principle for it pays Oh yes, it pays. From the story of this young woman, see how she trusted the Lord, believing God that she will never lie. She will never tell lies in order to get what she wants. And she got what she wanted, even far more better than what others got. Yes, tell me. 
tell me it's good to show and to live an exemplary life. It's good to do something good. It's good to prove that love for your creator. Don't just do because others are doing. Always strive to maintain that godly standard. Always strive to live a life that praises your maker, your creator. Hallelujah, somebody. May the Lord bless you as you do. May the Lord bless you as you do. Don't follow them. Don't do the way they are doing. Always believe God and he will give you the best. Oh yes, he will bless you and give you your heart desire. Praise Master Jesus. So that's my word of encouragement to you all today. May the Lord Almighty bless you. May the Lord Almighty keep you. So you all, my old subscribers, I thank you all. And to all that will still join this family, you are highly welcome. God bless you all. Please, just give this video a thumbs up. Drop in your comments. Drop set up your notification bell so that whenever I upload, you will be the first to get the notification. Also, smash the subscription button. God bless you as you do so. Till I come your way next time, I still remain your deaconess. Bye for now.